Welcome back to Metroid 2 Return of Samus. Last time we collected what is effectively every item in the game. We can still get different weapons if we so choose. I'm gonna stick with Spazer for now, though. And we made our way through the weapons facility, the tower. Our job here is not done, though, because there are still Metroids about for us. How many are left, anyway? Um, I mean, there's ten there, but... I've lost track. That's fine, let's just go until something happens. So out the left side of the facility... If you head down... Well, I didn't want to morph, but whatever. Eh. See, there's a Metroid over here. There has been. And water down here. What's down here, anyway? I have not been down on this side. Nothing. I don't like it in here. But we know a Metroid is handy. Oh, and it's you. So the screw attack does not hurt Metroids. But you are invincible um, to their attacks for the duration. So, all things considered, I haven't lost a ton of energy. I lost, like, an energy tank. And there's nothing else in here. Just the one. That was a... Zeta Metroid? It's one of the new ones. Ow. I think I only lost about... Maybe a little over one energy tank, though. Because I was pretty low. I already had one empty, and my second one was pretty low. So, I feel like I should probably heal up before we go do too much more of this. Um, there's no good place to do that, though. So instead, I'm just going to go up this way. Where there is yet another Metroid, and we're gonna do this again. Perfect. Why can't I... Why do I keep stop spinning? And if I can't land on solid ground, I can't even spin. I stop spinning. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I just stop spinning for some reason. Like, you just can't spin in the upper half of this room. I'm gonna friggin' die just getting to the other side of this. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, I'm not in the shape I thought I was gonna be in. It's okay, though, because it's just one of these. I mean, as long as I can get out... Yeah, like, I understand the screw it. The space jump in Super Metroid was a little wonky, but... For some reason, it's just not working in here.
There, that's what you're supposed to do. Holy heck. Okay, well, b for sure, before we do anything else. This is not where I wanted to be. Oh, we're back in the weapons room. Okay, so, before I do much anything else... I would like some health. And the best place to get health... The closest place... Is up here where we fought a really awkward Gamma Metroid. Don't want to go in there just yet. Why was I having so much trouble screw attacking in that last area? I can do it no problem out here. I forget how to get in there. Found it. Oh, give me that sweet energy juice. Those Zetas really take it out of you. You can't just go ham on them. Like, we can kind of go ham on even the Gammas at this point. Okay. Still more fun to be had. Got another one of these rooms. If I can get up here at the start, maybe I can just retain my jump the entire time. Okay, we're good. Let's go! Give me a little room to fight before he wakes up. I feel like I need a little more room to fight, actually. Whatever. Because it's you again! Oh, cool, can I get you stuck? Nope, need you to come down. Hey! So the trick is just to get them stuck on the environment. Got it. So the space jump in Super Metroid is pretty awkward, as I'm sure we all know, or at least anybody who's played Super Metroid. Um, the trick with it is you have to be on the down part of your jump in order to jump a second time. So you cannot... Eh, sure, I'm here. Um, and so if you are too close to the peak of your jump, you won't do it. So oftentimes you will want to, like, rapid jump straight up, but you have to make sure you're cleanly on the down part of your jump in order for the second jump to take. Uh, you can't really jump multiple times, just boom, 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 straight up, or if you're too close to the peak. Um, also, if you fall down too far, you can no longer jump again. And so, like, there's this l window after the peak of your jump, but not too far, where you can jump a second time. And I've got that tuned to me pretty good. And for the most part, it feels like this game's space jump is treated much the same way. 
It has kind of a weird window where you can jump again or it just doesn't count. Yeah. Like it's just a little bit after the peak. You can you're pretty all you're pretty much always safe to hit it again. But not always. I feel like it's just it's a little more I mean it's a Game Boy game, it's a little jank. But I feel like it's just a little more consistent. It's consistently jank. In Super. Oh, nice short room. I know you're in here. I don't know where. You are not quite as nice to get stuck on the environment. There we go. But you are also much easier to kill in general. And that's it for the room. Bunch of sand, not much else. Was that all of them? There we go. Six remain. A mere six metro... What the heck? Did I just jump off of a spike? A mere six metroids remain. It doesn't help any of this game. Also does this thing where it just kind of breaks you out of your spin if you fall too far. So I'd kind of like to stop by that uh, health station. But it's shockingly hard to get to. I'm going to move out because I think this is going to put me straight into the goop. Yep. Got to be an easier to get to energy charge than this one. So the rumble... Um, apparently, the manual for Metroid 2 mentions that... I didn't actually read this in the manual, but I didn't give the manual a thorough look. Um, but apparently, the rumbles that happen are just coincidence. Ah, oh, heck. Just coincidentally, there happens to be an earthquake that opens up the next area. I believe it's been handled different in each area, or in each uh, remake of the game, where... Uh, let's see here. Samus Returns? Uh, Samus Returns? had a Chozo machine that you had to actually plug Metroid DNA into in order to lower the uh, acid level. And this was in order to ensure the area has been secured. Um, AM2R has it appear somewhat coincidental, but I believe the intent was that it was actually... Um, our final boss that was probably attuned to the life of the Metroids and got kind of angry whenever you opened up the... or whenever you took a bunch of them out. So, where are we now? We, uh, just lowered the lava level, so... I believe that would be this right here. Is our chance to finally move forward again. Now, the Chozo Ruins, and what they have created, only goes so deep. And 
we're effectively past everything that resembled the Cho the original Chozo ruins. I don't like it here. Which means we're into the natural caves of SR388 at this point. Looking for Metroids that have crammed themselves deeper and deeper hidden away, which also means they've had the least interaction with the surface and the l probably the longest time to mature. Okay, there's our lava again. Oh, that's funny. These guys, um... They actually disappear into the block, so even though it was only one block deep, uh, they still disappeared. I was expecting to be able to see the entire body, like, hiding behind the block. What's up here? I'm gonna go forward first. Oh. More acid. Or lava. Or whatever it is. Lava acid. Okay, so, um. We're just stuck going this way then. Gotta climb up! Probably look for some more Metroids, because that's how we've always lowered the lava so far. I love that this music carries you through the entire game, because it's the connecting path music. It's not tied to any particular area, like the, well, the ones we've been to. Okay, lava. Got it. Metroids, just what we're looking for. Yep, sure is a Metroid. Oh, that's a freshly hatched one. It's just a little alpha Metroid. Well, gee whiz. Just a little baby alpha Metroid. Okay. Just the one little baby Metroid. I guess that was it, and the lava lowered. So we should probably make our way back. Man, I'm kind of glad I went the other way first. This way looks like it's kind of a pain in the butt. Oh. That didn't lower the lava, that raised it. Well, now I'm trapped. That's amazing. Well, we did see two Metroid shells. So I'm sure... There's another one somewhere around here. So let's go take that one out, and maybe we can move on. That's... an Omega Metroid. This is the closest thing to a boss? This game has. You know, aside from the actual final boss. 
being shockingly kind, though. Well, right up until you were doing that to me. Get away from me. Get away from me. Get away from me. So, um, they take a substantial number of missiles to kill on their front. But, can you turn around? Um, but there is a small opening on their backs that does, like, four times damage if you can hit it. So it's hard to know exactly how many missiles I had to use to kill that thing, because I did get a couple back shots in, but not many. Obviously, it's much harder to hit them on the back. Uh, this is something that I believe AM2R took advantage of in its uh, boss design. I forget if Samus Returns did anything with that. But I remember being able... Oh, no, I'm pretty sure Samus Returns did. Ah, yay, a lava lower. Pretty sure Samus Returns did. I remember you being able to see, like, a very small opening on their back that had a, um, you could visibly see their core. And the Omega has made some changes over the years. Back in the original Metroid 2, they just flew around like everybody else. Still the biggest, meatiest, meanest sons of guns there are, though. But now that we've been introduced to the Omega Metroid, only four Metroids remain. So we see the lava again. However, I don't think this is going to be something blocking us off. I thought I shot him. I saw the blinking light. And was like, man, that's gotta be something. I know that's that guy. I'm expecting a lot more in here. Oh, I remember climbing this in AM2R. Dealing with all these enemies bouncing around the mood. Oh, I gotta play AM2R again. It was so good. I've, I've, I haven't mentioned much about Samus Returns. Um, despite mentioning a lot about AM2R. And some of that is that, um... I feel like, um, Sa Samus Returns was more of a reimagining. They just wanted to do something kind of interesting that chronologically took this game's place. Whereas I feel like AM2R was more of a faithful reconstruction of this game. It felt like the most loyal adaptation of this game. Like making this, bringing this game into the current age. And honest to goodness, I just really like AM2R. I enjoyed it a lot more than I enjoyed Samus Returns. Um, but that may be a talk that I don't bother getting into today. Anyway, we have climbed our way up. We found a save point, even. Does this stuff hurt? No. We found a save point, and only four Metroids remain. With those four Metroids vanquished, our mission will be complete. Until next time, everyone.